I thought of something. I thought of a little something I can say. You see, my problem is I'm a junkie and I can't get enough of that needle. But it's not the kind of needle you put in your arm, it's the kind of needle you put in a groove. You see, I'm a record junkie and I can't get enough of these black pieces of plastic, man. don't do it for the money. If I wanted money, I would go and work for a different radio station. It's quite, you know, quite a tribal place. Promoting music, making art, I love it, man. That's the buzz for me. Okay, so we started in 1969. Uh, when it started, it was a capping stunt. Students around the time of orientation, when they start their education year, there's kind of like a week of craziness, and you know they were sort of known for doing stunts. And one of the ones they did was start a radio station on a boat out in the harbour, and that's kind of how BFM started, really. And it's called Radio Bosom. It progressed from that to become to BFM as it is now, which is the biggest student radio station in Auckland. I guess. In 1969, when students were trying to think of what to name a radio station, they thought Radio Bosom would be quite a funny thing to, you know, it was a very different days, so Bosom was probably very um, shocking. Oh, thank God you're here, Doctor. She's just in here. All right, Christian, I can see that your 10 centimetres dilated. It's time to start pushing. Yeah, push. I'm sorry, no, it's too late for the sugar cube. We're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way, all right? I need you to push for me push. now. Push, come on, you can do it, You're push. doing great, keep pushing. We're almost there. Oh. I can see why you were having trouble, but congratulations, Miss Cullen, you've given birth to the new Foles album. What went down? The brilliant new album from Foles. Be listening to BFM Radio all this week for your chance to win a coffee with your B-card. Hey, hey, there we are, 95 BFM Breakfast live from Real Groovy. It is exactly 15 minutes away from 9 o'clock. Can we give a huge thanks to our uh, first performer today? So there are two networks nationwide who own 95% of the radio stations. So when we say that we are independent, we're not part of one of those big duopolies. So we can kind of say what we want, make our own decisions, and the music we choose, things we talk about, where we do advertising, anything at all. BFM is a lot more in touch with kind of far out people. Not into just playing mainstream crap. It can be challenging sometimes the music we play. It's not bubblegum pop that goes in one ear and out the other. It's, it's not kind of being alternative for the sake of it. It's just, you know, I believe that we represent a sector of society who no one else really cares for. Most radio is awful to listen to, and we disagree with it. <laughs> I like how it's this great combination of this awesome tradition of really great radio and then sometimes it's just such a shambles, like, I, I love that about it. It's just a network, man, a whole community of people that are on the same wavelength, like, musically. There's no one sitting at the top counting their stacks, it's like, it's just all about, like, honest music. 21 minutes past 10, keep the Friday favourites coming, please. I'm enjoying myself immensely. I don't ever really find my job that hard. It's mainly just really fun and we play awesome music and we have really cool DJs and it's always a really fun place to hang out. Uh, there's good coffee, a huge record collection and cool people. Welcome to The Wire on 95BFM. I'm going to be with you for the next hour of news and current affairs. I quite like to explain our news by talking about what we don't cover. So we wouldn't cover an All Blacks win, and we wouldn't cover 
a car crash and we wouldn't cover a murder trial. Newspapers often lead with stories that will affect you emotionally the most and those often are stories about car crashes or murder trials. A lot of news stations have commercial pressures on them that we don't have. Basically we can cover whatever we like and don't really have to think about our relationships to sponsors. That is reflected in the news that we do as well. So for example this interview at the moment with Dr Susan Woodward, it's nice to be able to give seven minutes to an academic. The hero would never be able to do that, you know, they can probably give an academic a sentence. Learn. Why is liquid cold? Learn. What is maths? Learn. Why does this Ow. hurt? Learn. What is the enlightenment? I don't know. And now, thanks to the University of Auckland, it's time to ready, steady, learn! People don't like watching ads or listening to ads, generally. It's not nice to be have someone selling you something. And we just use uh, the volunteers and, and the yep. hosts and things around the office to as talent in the ads. Like mm. we don't bring in actors or anything. And you it, hear the hosts doing their show, and then you'll hear them in the ad also. Yeah, it gives it a kind of I think a good feel, a homemade feel, and also it's kind of a house style that I suppose mm. BFM has become mm. almost known for. And uh, also kind of goes into the whole kind of the ethos that we play alternative music that the commercial stations don't. So we do them ourselves, mm. put a swear word in or something, like change, fart, change the music, put a fart, yeah, a lot of, a lot of farts in there. Yeah. The cool thing about BFM is that it's not driven by like having to promote like ads for, for big company products. BFM is driven by promoting New Zealand music and promoting music as an art form on a whole. Uh, welcome along to the 95 BFM Fancy New Band Showcase for yet another year. Thanks to 95 BFM and New Zealand On Air Music. I'd love to introduce, oh I'm Vince by the way, uh, from BFM Breakfast. I'd love to introduce my co-host Max here. So starting with Mucus Kids, on to LVJ, The Moonlight, Seer, Mellow Downs, Soccer Practice, The Echo O's, Phaser Days, Perfect Hair Forever and finally New Gum San. So you're in for a great night of uh, local talent and these bands are the freshest, newest stuff that we've been introduced to at 95 BFM. I don't know, BFM's just like a, a cool platform for like local artists like myself to just get on and like, it's cool how they give like opportunities to local up-and-comers, if you know what I mean, like, or emerging artists, so like, yeah man, it's cool. So, yeah, they're basically just like, well, here's a gig, do you want to come play? And we're just like, yeah, yeah sure. like, of course they do. <laughs> Local bands that are like, kind of up-and-coming or something, so it's really good, there's a lot of like, exposure and it's a good, like a different crowd. This is a cool chance to play, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I love playing here too, it's going great, yeah, and great stage. Well, the only radio station plays bands that have never been played before. Yeah, they so they'll give you a chance. Yeah. They help you get, um, get an audience. So. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're the best promoter around. I yeah. mean, to be offered a show like this, where they're doing all the promotion, um, it's huge. It's really great. Yeah. We talk about it, we go to the gigs, we promote the gigs. If we think a band are great, we'll do everything we can to let everyone know about it. And, <laughs> and we're back with our very first guest tonight. It's Liz of the Best. Hi. Cool. Well, let's maybe get into the music part of musical side of things. Uh, what's the first song you've got prepared for us? Um, the song is called Whatever. <laughs> So for Freak the Sheep, we try to, um, to find music that's not older than maybe two or three weeks and we kind of look through the internet, looking up tags on Bandcamp and Soundcloud and scour our Facebooks for new music. There's currently no one probably actively helping local musicians out as much on the radio as BFM does because most other music radio stations have a, probably a much higher uh, content of already popular music, even for Kiwis. BFM gives young people a chance. You know, if you've got a rad song, then 
we have Ambo Poppy playing. Like, I think that's pretty, that's Poppy unique. Like, to that extent, it's us. Why does good New Zealand music not get played on other radio stations? It's too alternative for them. And that sounds ridiculous because you know it's good, I know it's good. Now we're in a phase where pop music is again really big, really huge. And with New Zealand music, I think it's mostly quite indie. I, d I don't know why, uh, why the norm and why the most popular is um, the same thing over and over again. I would pull my eyes out if I had to listen to the same thing over and over again. <laughs> I couldn't do this show on any other station but BFM. I've, I think I've pushed the limits of broadcasting as far as I can go and they're still tolerating me. The people who dig the kind of sounds I'm putting out are people, truck drivers, garbage men, people who are living on the fringes of normal society. You know, like I get people calling up who've just gotten out of prison and the man, they dig it, you know. I'm going to die from a speaker falling on me or being electrified from this console, like, that's just how it's gonna be, man. I'm gonna die doing what I love. I love music, man. I mean, at the end of the day, any radio station, music is the, is the number one driving force. It's not advertising, it's not like a commercial radio station. It's the music, and that's what is driving everyone at BFM. You know, I kind of think in the same way that there's probably always gonna be the outcasts at school, you know, the five or ten percent who kind of who, who are a little bit different from everyone else. I kind of feel like that's who we kind of cater for. So there's no point trying to there's no trying to speak to 100% of the population. I think in New Zealand, there's just this, relatively speaking, I think there's an incredibly large number of creative people in general because nobody ever really expects to make a lot of money with it. People just do whatever they really want to do and it comes from their heart and mostly for self-indulgent I want to make music reasons and, and, and the results are just really beautiful I think really raw music and um, not overly produced and not made for commercial radio stations necessarily it's just um, I, I really love this raw sound of this and so BFM is bigger than the sum of its parts really it's a it's a it's a community and and it offers a lot to the people that choose to get involved. I think, yes, to answer your question, it's important that we have institutions like Money 5 Anyone who digs anything is awesome, man. If you get a kick out of working in an abattoir, right on. You get a kick out of drilling into people's mouths, go on you, you know? Like, any, anyone who digs anything a lot and really digs it, that's a cool thing. Listen, it's a great station. Second best station in Auckland, probably. After Base FM. <laughs> <laughs> After the Radio Live. Where do we rate? <laughs> <laughs> to abide by the Broadcasting Standards Authority and their rules and guidelines. If you seriously think we've crossed the line on air, give us a call on 309 4831 and tell us about it. We'll be able to help you out and tell you the procedure if you wish to make a formal complaint to the Broadcasting Standards Authority. Fuck knuckles, cock and piss. Malls. Thank you. <laughs>